Saudi authorities confiscate rainbow-colored toys and LGBT crackdown. Earlier this week, officials in Saudi Arabia seized toys and clothing in the colors of, quote-unquote, the colors of homosexuality from stores <laughs> in Ridya. <laughs> According to the authorities, rainbow-colored objects referred to the LGBT pride flag that encourages homosexuality amongst children, which is contrary to the Islamic oh my faith. God. <laughs> the Commerce Ministry tweeted that the items were, were removed from the stores as they, quote, contain symbols and signs that call for deviation and contradict common sense. Stores that are found continuing to sell these rainbow-colored objects will face legal penalties. In Saudi Arabia, where Sharia, the Islamic laws, are enforced, homosexuality is seen as, severely, uh, as a severely punishable offense that can result in flogging or capital punishment. The country does not recognize, permit, or celebrate same-sex marriages and domestic partnerships. Obviously. <laughs> In a statement released last year, Islamic scholar Abdulaziz al-Sheikh, the current Grand Mufti and the most influential Muslim leader of the country, said that people belonging to the LGBT community are, quote-unquote, a disgrace in this world. A similar crackdown on stores selling rainbow-colored toys happened in the neighboring country of Qatar in December 2021. Okay, so there's a picture here. <laughs> this is a Saudi official pointing at, at a toy that has the rainbow colors on it. And I'm like pointing. <laughs> it's just, I don't know why, but I find this picture so funny. It's like, that's illegal. <laughs> that's haram. It has rainbow on it. Like, what do you, okay. It's so stupid. Rain no, you can play that video, but um, like don't put on the audio because it's it's like nothing important. Um, but okay. so we can see more of the toys that they're confiscating. Oh um, my God. Everything rainbow goes away. It's like it's like the, unicorns. It's like colored pencils, uh, <laughs> pencil cases, <laughs> like backpacks. Wait, so, Haram. So, so there's nothing in rainbow color. Like in Saudi Arabia, there's no rainbows. Like there's nothing. Okay, what if there's a rainbow in the sky? Oh, you better close your eyes because it's encouraging you know, homosexuality. <laughs> <laughs> okay, crawling. first of all. First of all, good job and good job to the LGBT community for being. This means that your takeover over uh, the rainbow has been complete. Now you are like you're officially owned because the entire like yeah this they, this is a confirmation that the rainbow apparently belongs to you completely now. Um, also, True. there should be. <laughs> also, there should be um, there should be a clip, okay, a comedy like clip where like a par like there's a mother and father and then the mother says like oh look there's a rainbow and then like the dad is like oh yeah and then all of a sudden they look at each other shocked they're like oh no billy is outside and then the mother is like no billy and they just run into the yard trying to save billy and billy is like playing with his toys and all of a sudden slowly looks into the sky and the dad is like running like no billy and he looks into the sky and all like sees the rainbow like but it, and then it cuts it was too late billy turned gay he saw the rainbow <laughs> like anyways guys protect your children from rainbows by the way do they really literally think like these kids are going to turn gay because they have like rainbow colored toys a rainbow like colored you... unicorn pencil i don't know hmm. it's insane it's literally insane like so this... one thing i posted on my instagram stories i posted a screenshot of this news and then i put the caption the real gay agenda is to make homophobes terrified of anything rainbow color <laughs> <laughs> oh we should show them a rainbow kaba um, oh my gosh yeah, they're not ready for the rainbow kaba they they what do they fit uh, by the way rainbow there's oh the rainbow quran where's my rainbow quran oh yeah right. yeah look at this haram. it's my rainbow quran haram oh i have one too it's over there do you think if i have a rainbow quran okay does reading the rainbow quran make someone gay or because it's the quran the good forces are fighting the evil for which one overpowers We'll like, get your head out of the gutter, Armin. It's only rainbow <laughs> colored to help you navigate the different surahs in Tajweed, okay? <laughs> I know, I know. But they are saying anything rainbow color tur turns you gay. So even if it wasn't intentionally gay, 
it does make you gay. It's rainbow. Oh my god. Well, that's definitely gonna be outlawed there. <laughs> this is this was made in Indonesia. I don't think they intentionally was were making. They're like rainbows are pretty. Um. Yeah, this I is think weird. it's so funny how like the rainbow is universally seen as one of the most beautiful like natural phenomena in the world, and like you're destroying your own ability to just enjoy something that's beautiful because of your own like homophobia and also i think some of it has to do with i'm actually i'm actually, I'm actually not gonna get into that are, are skittles kind of, illegal are skittles illegal in saudi arabia oh my gosh good question <laughs> oh my god oh yeah Wait, you still have to show our Rambo Kaba. Um, oh, do we have well, it here? No, no, no. We, you... Oh, wait. I do want to show that tweet by Qatar, though. Scroll back down to the bottom. So That's here's fine. when um, Qatar did a crackdown on rainbow toys. So here you see a, you know, a shelf of toys, and they're like the little kinds where you pop them back and forth. Kids love these because it's very satisfying. And it says... Uh, so like the ministry of qatar carried out inspection campaigns on several retail <laughs> outlets in different regions across qatar the came the campaigns resulted in the seizure and release of several violations including confiscation of children's toys bearing slogans which go up against islamic values slogans they're just in rainbow color yeah it's ridiculous it's just a rainbow color well <laughs> the rainbow the You're rainbow corrupting the children. Illegal. Wait, is it? Don't we have it also in Islam? Okay, so what is it? Just in Christianity, or also in Islam, where God, like, signaled to Noah that okay, everything is okay. Oh now no, no, the, God definitely the created the rainbow, and yeah. No, I know God created the rainbow, but God also created evil in in Islam. So the rainbow might might be evil, but I'm just saying, didn't he like sign? the sky or like with his promise with the rainbow it's or the promise of his covenant yeah pro okay to so never the promise of his do covenant mass genocide that, again to yeah like i promise <laughs> i will <laughs> like, not I drown promise. the whole world <laughs> <laughs> it's, his, it's his signature in case he forgets like that he said that because the first time he said something he forgot i'm like oopsie i shouldn't have done this <laughs> i promise i promise i will not kill most of the planet ever again Sign God, Allah. Maybe God is gay. <laughs> <laughs> this is really funny. Forever Stormy is saying, "Do these idiots not know that white light that's all around us is made up of rainbow colors? Are they gonna confiscate the sun next?" <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. Um, um, oh, bread of and light Nanda's is here. asking, "Is there a specific color code for homos?" There actually is. Look up the hanky or handkerchief color code system evolved out of the leather kink scene and depending on the color of the handkerchief that you have out of your back pocket and if it's on the left or right side it communicates to people exactly what you're into and what you're looking for so is there a specific color code for homos yes it's actually it's a thing <laughs> <laughs> by the way bread of life we sent you another email i don't know if she saw it She's oh, not no, getting yeah, no, emails. I'm going to reply today. I've been, Armin, don't worry about it. I've been corresponding. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Um, oh, wait, before we start the next news, PK earlier commented, I'm surprised you guys aren't covering Roe v. Wade. So obviously this is a huge thing that just happened. It was announced yesterday. Um, that's too short of a time for us to like prepare a whole thing for it. We already had all the news prepared beforehand. So we're definitely going to be diving in, into more depth next week. Um, and yeah. It's it's a weird time yes. to be an American. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below